gonna go in the store and get the kitty. Uh, what's this? Six cutie Oh no no no! It's the swan surprise. I uh, like it's a crunchy one and uh, oh my gosh! Here, he, okay, we turn back up to Daddy. Turn right, up. You'll, you'll be able to see Daddy in just a sec. Pillows? Uh, yeah, like eighth row pillow. <laughs> hey, we picked up, picked up my new couches today. Ella. Hey, Mr. Arrow. Yeah, we just picked up our couches today. I got an email last night saying that they were ready. So here's the love seat. Here's the other couch. That's just like our old, um, that's our old pillows. Part of our old sectional right there we're going to get rid of. Oh, it's so beautiful though. And I'm so happy with the color. Oh, it just, oh, I'm so excited. I just went down to sit and film and my camera is not working properly. <laughs> I, um, let me turn on my light here real quick. I don't know what happened. I had just filmed, uh, not yesterday. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, today has just been something else. Sorry. I was cut off just a second ago. Oh, because I'm also currently door, door dashing. <laughs> So I just got another um, <clears throat> order and I got to go to Chipotle, but I'm like, oh, I just need to, I got to let, I got to learn how to not let things overwhelm me easily because at the moment I have a haul that's been sitting on my counter for like almost a week now and I've been wanting to film it. You know, all week I was like, Friday, Friday, Friday. I'll be able to film Friday. I'm dashing. Today is Friday, by the way. So I, you know, had waited all week to film today. I'm sorry, it's raining. We're not gonna talk long in the car because of the rain, but in a nutshell, my camera's not working. Inside my memory card, there's like pins that read the cards and one of the pins got pushed back and I've tried everything that I can to like pull it back to its normal position and I can't do it. So I have been looking up and down everywhere for our micro tools to open up the camera and see if I can't fix it. TJ's at work, so he's not answering his phone. I can't find the ones that we already have. So I'm like, okay, I didn't have any current orders. Let me run to Walmart real quick, right? Get to Walmart, get my tools, and that is where you just saw me leave off. I walked into my house and I got an order and I gotta walk right back out. Luckily though, this is my last order for the first half of my day. Um, it's 3.50 now, my dash was supposed to end at four, but obviously this order is gonna push that toll. I'll probably be done like about 4.30ish and then I have another shift starting at six. So at least by the time that I'm home, I can hopefully sit down and fix my camera because if I can't fix my camera, like right away, I'm probably gonna end up filming the haul anyways because I just don't want it to sit there. It's just like clutter, you know? But I also wanted the quality and the audio quality of my Rebel camera. But now I gotta probably use my phone. So I don't know. Um, I won't know anything until I'm back. So I'll talk to you guys when we're home. Come back from this Chipotle order and um, hopefully not pull my freaking hair out. told you I've never whoops I locked my door I've never been to a, what on earth I've locked it again I've never been to a Chipotle yeah I've never been um I'm not huge into I think it's like what is it like yeah burritos and probably tacos and stuff I don't know it's not really like I, I'll eat it but it's certainly not something that I crave anyways let's go find this guy all right that delivery was very 
confusing. <laughs> it was going to a college and it was so confusing and I had to find like this hall and I ended up having to call him and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm lost. And he's like, yeah, I know it's confusing and uh, it's fine. I mean, he was fine. Um, it got just got delivered. And now I need gas because it's going to be about 23 miles to get home and I only have 20 miles left in my tank. So getting gas when I got home isn't going to work either. Oh my goodness today. I'm telling you. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. This wasn't the gas station that I meant to go to, but it was even closer, which thank goodness gracious. Okay. This pump. This pump is really, really slow, so it's gonna take a minute anyway. Yeah, so now, the thing is, it's almost five now. <laughs> that took longer to find than I thought, and there's a lot of, like, rush hour traffic. So it's almost five, and my next shift starts at six. So, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go home and try to fix my camera. Because at least if I can get my camera to work, maybe I can find time tomorrow or Sunday to film if not Tuesday, you know, and just, I really wanted to film today and I'm bummed out I might not be able to. I can still use my phone, I just don't really want to, but I might end up having to. Oh, it's a little hole. <laughs> this guy keeps looking at me over in the truck. Um, I was so dumb, I was like, why did it stop fueling? And I, I used this wrong stupid card, but anyways, I got enough gas to get us home, definitely. I'll just fill up a little bit more later. Good morning, everybody. So today we just left the store. Um, uh, we actually have like a 10 year, hi Elle. We actually have like a 10 year um, anniversary party to go to for my cousin's passing. I can't even believe it's been 10 years, but she's been- I'm 16 old. <laughs> four. Um, she's been gone for 10 years um yesterday actually so we're kind of throwing like a party not like a sad thing like we're just here to celebrate her memory and her life and stuff and as with anything um having to do with family and like vlogging i don't know if i'm gonna record there or not you know it's stuff like that where it's like memorials or obviously funerals or like just stuff that I don't really want to be on my phone for. Even my grandmother's surprise party. But yeah, so we're gonna we're going to that right now. Later, I wanted to come home because it is so nice out and try to get some housework done. But because I'm dashing tonight and still gotta cook dinner, like it's it's one o'clock now. We're already supposed to be there. I'm late as usual. It's only from one to three. So I wanted to um, I actually wanted to go to Home Depot to get, go get some sand. But I don't know if that'll happen today. Also, Jeffrey's Blue Blood Palette came out today and I was so trying to get my hands on it, but I also knew there was no way I was gonna be able to do it this week at all. Um, but I really wanna get my hands on it. At this point, you know, obviously it's been out for a little bit. My vlogs are a collection of clips, so it could be like two weeks squeezed into one kind of thing, but um, yeah, I wanted it so bad and I knew it was coming. It was marked on my calendar and everything and I just It didn't work out this week to be honest. I had kind of missed a day of like door dashing and stuff So I was just like Ugh. it can wait until it's restocked. <laughs> I haven't even looked at the website I'm just assuming that it's probably sold out at this point. So I'll wait for the restock. No big deal. I'm not in a rush for another palette. That's for sure <laughs> Aw, there's my diamond. Be careful with those, baby. That's her. That's diamond. You never met diamond. <gasps> oh, what an absolutely beautiful ceremony. We just left. Um, and I saw a show. A show? Well, it wasn't really... Um, a show. It was more like um, when I used to go to church more regularly, which I really do want to get back into going, but that's a whole nother story time. Um, I, it was more like a service, like it wasn't really a church service. Like obviously we talked about my cousin Diamond so much, but it was just so nice because so many people showed up and it's like, 
have that kind of impact on all these people like 10 years after you're gone like that alone just explains what kind of person she was and of course it didn't film in there it was a respectful thing I am not looking to get views off of something like that like that's not what I like I got I got like maybe two or three clips of inside just to show you how beautiful my cousin is like they had pictures of her and they had like this little packet of seeds that I have with me as well like just really really beautiful pictures of her and that's the only thing that I felt comfortable sharing with you guys because as much as my vlogs are entertainment for you they're also my home movies so I can look back on this and say wow like just look at these quick things from 10 years ago like in no way shape or form am I trying to get any sort of anything out of something like that in my life at all and I just don't want it to come off the wrong way it's simply for memory for me to look back on and remember you know, wow it's 10 years because in 20 years I'm gonna be like wow it's been 20 years you know so the ceremony was absolutely gorgeous um, but now we're heading home it is just about three o'clock and we are gonna go get some outside work done before I start dinner in a couple hours, so. Yep, we because we are playing outside. Find the fuzzy pets and more pet shops. Oh yeah? <laughs> so I just got home and I literally just filmed like a little excerpt uh, to start a new video because I had like a DoorDash story time, but I just pulled up home in my husband is spray painting um we're redoing our living room and he's spray painting my one of our lamps to fix it and match our new color scheme i just got mcdonald's because you know i'm a pig but when your girl is hungry and it's nine o'clock at night and all you've been doing is delivering food for everybody else sometimes getting some, some food of your own isn't such a bad thing i was wondering what the heck you were doing then I thought a little harder and then saw you spray painting and then I realized what you were doing. You wanna hear something funny? So when I went to, I am vlogging. Why are we doing this at nine o'clock at night? Love the color, but. Well. Can't even I really see you. Like so. Yeah. I always walk, love walking into. Oh. Oh. Hey, Bubalicious. Sorry, that was just me, babe. We just had a long day. TV is up though. That's new. Work in progress. I was attempting to decorate, but to be honest, we're gonna have we're buying like a new mantle anyway. So, and there's that little thing we and put together center. quite a while. It's not a mantle. It has a mantle. Oh, and Ella oh, got a new <laughs> car seat. Yes, she did. Cause our girl is not a little girl anymore. We still gotta put that mirror downstairs, honey bun. Yes. Our first gorgeous day of the year. It is March 31st, but it's like 65 degrees outside. Hi, we are so, going to Oh, the we're park. matching, honey. Look, same, same. Pants and a shirt. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, we're at the park today. We're going to play for a little bit, hang out. We'll go get some lunch later. Then you, little lady, are going to be going to Mimi's for dinner, but I'll be going door dashing. But we have a little while to play. So you ready? Um, it was beautiful out. The only problem is that there was no, like it's all cloudy, so there was no actual sun peering down. So it got a little tiny bit cold. 
um, but also granted everyone else was in sweatshirts and I'm in a flipping uh, <laughs> shoulder off the shoulder shirt and I'm wearing a long sleeve and long pants but whatever shorts. you have on pants and a short sleeve my love you look beautiful so now we're on our way to go get some lunch um, I'm just not sure there's a little dog and he didn't have any back legs so he was in one of those like custom wheelchairs. I think that's one of the most brilliant inventions oh, ever. Which dog was it? He's a little puppy over there. He uh yeah he has no back legs just the front ones so he's in a little like wheel along wheelchair for his back limbs. Um, he stayed on but anyways, I have no idea where we want to go eat. I'm really not in the mood to like, ha like waitress, like the whole like Wait, service thing. There's a Panera Bread that is opening or has opened not far. So we might go see there. I don't know. Maybe we can split something. I don't know what we're going to eat. I'll let you know when I figure it out. We knew of just coming to Wayback Burgers. I promised Ella um, when she was finished her food, we would go and get a milkshake. Hey, baby. You're not feeling too good, are you? You got a little bit of cold. Her her nose is running a little bit. <laughs> I caught that face, you know. You need a tissue? How are you feeling, girlfriend? Not very good. Not very good? Are you getting sleepy? Oh, you just put your buddies in my food. Ew. This child is like toned in. So she knows exactly how to embarrass me. Sorry, it's a little dark. We're in a underneath a parking garage at the moment. We're just leaving the mall now. Yeah, I just ended up going to the mall for lunch because they just have different options and it was quick. And um, she's, she, I think she's coming down with a little bit of a cold. So she's not really feeling too hot. So she wants to... <coughs> just kind of go home and go to sleep so yeah, that's good. yeah I think you got a little bit of a cold that happens to mama too when it whenever the weather changes like if it get, goes from cold to warm or warm to cold I'll get really sick I think she might be the same way but she has this very special way of cutting me off thanks I of know embarrassing the ever-living poop out of me because but in I ways that I can't get mad at her the park was so cold I wasn't cold stop there was a lot of wind I didn't think it was cold it was a little bit well, uh, maybe a little bit I needed a sweatshirt oh um, I have a little jacket in here for you um can I wear it not right now baby it's warm in here I can turn up the heat if you need me to here I'll turn up the heat okay um, so, you know, we're at the mall, so I'd like to go in. I know that Lush had dropped their Easter collection, so I just went in and, you know, checked it out. And honestly, I haven't even used the products I got from February yet, so I'm like, you know, I'm trying not to, like, overload myself my collection with bath bombs. So we went into Lush, took a peek around after lunch, and then we went into Sephora, because I always love seeing we're what's new at Sephora. Mall. No, we, we went there though, and there was this guy, he was probably 18, 19 years old, and he was like greeting people as soon as he walked into Sephora, and he had his face like snatched, like red lipstick, blinding highlight, big bold brows, like he looked good, like I, I was impressed, you know? I know. And when I was growing up, yeah, and it, it wasn't even that long ago. I'm almost 26. I'll be 26 in a couple months. So I was born in 93. So really that wasn't that, that long ago. And I, you know, that, that was never a thing. I, I remember when I was little, like I would never really see men in makeup. And that wasn't really like as common as it is today to see men wearing makeup. And I... So when we went in there, you know, like me being a YouTuber, being part of the beauty industry that understands that men are an actual huge part. Some of the leading influencers even here on YouTube are men, Jeffrey, James, Patrick. So I used to it. So I didn't even think of anything. I didn't, you know, think anything of it. But this one apparently has never seen a man wearing makeup. 
So we go in, he says, hi, how are you doing? He actually said, like, he, oh, I love your makeup. I said, oh, I like yours too, thank you. And I was just poking around. There wasn't really like anything new out. I know like Rihanna's stuff, she like launched some stuff, but I just wasn't really into it. I, I just like going in and, and looking sometimes. And she pulls me aside as soon as we say hi and walk away, like two feet away. She goes, Mama, is that guy wearing makeup? <laughs> I'm always oh, so shit. I said, yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> like, I was mortified. I hope he didn't hear her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby, guys wear makeup too. <laughs> oh my god. Daddy doesn't wear <laughs> would daddy look funny in makeup yeah, yeah. i want to do like a full but glam auntie i don't know if he'll let me no jackson doesn't either jackson's my three-year-old nephew i think he's three he might be turning three in october no he's five He's not five. He's not older than you. Riley is the oldest. And she's five. Uh, yep, just turned five. And then you're four. Because and I Jackson's old? probably three then. Am you're I old. old? Do you know how old Mama is? Mm -mm. I'm 25. What? I am so old. You want to know who's even older? Well, yeah, then too. But Daddy, do you know how old Daddy is? 20, 13. 13. Girl, I'd be locked away if Daddy was 13. Daddy is 26. Do you know, do you know how old Mimi and Papa are? are you, 24 and 25. No, are you ready? Do you want to know how old they are? They are 50. Five. I should play in the back hot tub. Yeah, you can go. My mom has a hot tub. You can go in the hot tub today. Oh, that means that. Oh, sugar. Where is it? I don't know where your um bathing suit is because we packed her bathing suit suit last week when she went in the hot tub. I don't remember ever getting that back. Okay, okay. I don't need a swimsuit. I'm well, just... I'll still get you swimsuits. You have a couple that we took to Puerto Rico, but they're just a tiny bit big. But they'd be fine for a hot tub. I uh, have a couple. I have. I I should wear a different. It is starting to rain out, though, sweetie. You see some of the drizzle coming on the window. Yeah. I don't know if you guys will be out or not, especially since your nose is running, my love bug. <coughs> running quite a bit. Those are some big boogies, girlfriend. I know. I wiped it on your black shirt last night. You wiped it on my black shirt? Yeah. Well, thank you, babe. <laughs>